Hello everyone, this is the Photoshop way, and I'm going to teach you now how to do perspective text like this in Photoshop. So like this, 3D, so first press Command or Control N to create a new document, 1440 by 900 resolution, 300. That's what I like to keep it on most of the time. Now fill the layer with white. So since white is my background color, I press Alt or Option, then I press Delete or Backspace. And then I press Command I or Control I to invert the color so it would be white. Okay. So then press T to look for the type tool. And go for an aerial black right there. And go for a perspective, right? Anything that you want. For example, Photoshop. Okay. I grab the move tool right here, press Command or Control T to free transform it. I want grabbing a diagonal edge while holding on Shift. Drag here to the bottom. Move it. So like this we have a nice clean text. And press, and press enter. And then after you do that, you're gonna double click the layer here in a nice white area. In front of the layer style. I've got a gradient overlay, and you're going to fill it up with any gradient you want. For example, this. Actually, nope. Uh, this. This. Green to blue is fine. So, okay. Press OK. Then after that, you create a new layer. And you press Shift. And choose the Photoshop text layer too. And press Command or Control E to unify those layers so no more blending options can be installed and can get those right out of the way. And then you press Edit, Transform, Perspective, and you grab this corner to the bottom just like so. And then you move a little bit off to the side. And then this is the most important part. While well, press Alt or Option, and with the arrow keys, you choose the left, left side. Um, so since my perspective moved to the right side, so basically what this does is just press Alt or Option, then press the left arrow key. It just multiplies that layer once, one step left. So you press it a lot of times. Alter option left 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 until you get that. And it seemed kind of weird, but you grab the first layer on top, which is set by default of course, and then you choose almost the last layer, the one next to it, and you press shift and click on it. So every layer is selected except the first layer of text and the background layer and then you press command control e to unify or merge these layers and put them on the bottom of the other text layer i'll bring up blending options of these here but click in a blank area double clicking actually and you choose on gradient overlay and you're going to choose a really really black normal black to a gray almost almost white like so press ok and you're gonna add a bevel and emboss right here and you're gonna keep all settings the same except you're gonna add this change the style to pillow emboss now click ok we're almost done now we need to open up um, the blending options for these ones so double click here go to bevel, bevel and emboss and change it to pillow emboss and don't touch anything and click ok so you get ecstatic results um, to enhance this image I would recommend you to unify everything up. so but except the background so press this shift click command and control E to merge this now press command control J to or to to multiply that layer, so here's another layer, and you're gonna go to Edit, Transform, 
flip vertical. After you flip it, flip it vertically, you're going to move it onto the bottom to add the reflection here. And since it's perspective, it's going to go way on the bottom here. It's going to go like really close and then it really opens up. So to fix that, you're going to go to edit, transform, rotate. Rotate a little bit that way. So it will match everything up just like so. Click enter. And then move that layer to the bottom right here. And then here's the catch. You're going to press P for the pen tool. And you're going to choose anywhere until where you want to start deleting, like to fade off. I want it to fade off just like over here to over here. Um, no, to over here maybe, yeah. And then I'm gonna choose it just some lines over here. Yeah. So while you're on the pen tool, just press right click, make selection. I'm gonna put the feather radius at 30. You can put it up more, but let's put it more. 40 is fine. Press OK. And then press delete. I press it two times. I press command control D to deselect and put the overall opacity at 50%. I like to keep it at a little bit more like at 60% so it really glows there. So that's it guys. I hope you liked this tutorial. Many more coming soon and make sure to check out my channel. Thank you.